What's going on, guys? It is your boy Beer Gut Plays here, back at it with another episode of the College Football 25 Temple Dynasty mode here on the channel. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you guys like the content you want to see this channel grow make sure you hit that like button comment down below subscribe to this channel for more content be sure to check out the channel's sponsor for today w energy i'll leave it linked in the video description below use that code beer gut at checkout and you will save yourself a discount on your order guys we have a phenomenal record so far. We have only lost one game, and that was the season opener to Oklahoma. We are going to keep moving forward, go on to this, and hopefully continue our run of good luck. As you guys can see, we are taking on the East Carolina Pirates here today. This is going to be a phenomenal matchup. Uh, two, well, Temple at five and one looking to go to six or uh i'm sorry six and one looking to win seven straight games in in college football got to be one of the best records in college football today and honestly i can't sit here and say that i uh, well i i'm super surprised that this team has been able to be you know win seven games in this start of the for of the dynasty mode i can't believe it like i said in every episode you will see the uh the recruits as soon as we sign them uh it, it's just not i i don't want to take too much time away from the actual gameplay and i want to actually i want to get some get some game plans keep this thing you know as condensed as possible jesus christ sorry about that guys I thought I had my phone on on um silent. Now I do. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> it was just a text message. I I can't wait to get this thing started. I cannot wait to get you know, it, we're contending for a I feel like we've got to be pretty close to the top 25 as of this recording. So, we're going to get this game up underway taking on the East Carolina P Pirates the purple and yellow this is going to be a really exciting matchup i i can't wait um if you guys follow my instagram and it is linked in the channel bio uh, i did just drop the new the brand new recording uh, recording slash live stream now i know i did promise that i was going to go live with madden 25 on wednesday and we missed an episode of this unfortunately i've been dealing with a lot of um I, i've been very busy at work so have not found the time i am currently recording this on saturday afternoon as the big run picks up seven yards we're gonna try and get as you know get as much content drop or recorded in this weekend as possible and the quarterback hits the tight end on the on the route right there on the out route and this is going to be a third and nine number 11 dropping back trying to make the scramble for his intercepted and it looks like if he can get past the quarterback it is going to be straight to the end zone 47 yard pick six and temple is up six nothing in this bad boy i can't believe it guys we they were driving on us for a little bit we stopped them and then we got the interception. The extra point is good. And Temple is leading by a score of seven to nothing. We're gonna jump ahead here. 537 left in the first quarter. And it is first down and 10. Gets that playoff. And he's gonna get it to Dante Wright. And the home run hitter, Dante Wright, scores the touchdown on the on the go route and that is going to make it 13 nothing your temple owls in this matchup we're in carolina right now and the kick is up we've already got a two touchdown lead third down and three as it is 508 left to go in the first quarter hands the ball up but the running back is stuffed and a loss of one third down and ten evan simons 
gets it to John Adams, and that is going to be a big first down play. We are on third and five. Evan Simon dropping back, gets it to um, Zay Baines. I almost called him Harold Baines there. Going to always do that. Got the pass completed. And Ty Washington with the touchdown, second passing touchdown for Evan Simon in the game. And that is going to bring the score 20 to nothing. <coughs> it has already been a route as the extra point attempt is good. And it is 21 to nothing as we watch some weird cheerleaders do some push-ups. And it is third down and 10, two minutes left to go in the first quarter. And that is stopped. Third down and one. Jaquez Smith back in the game, hands the ball off, and it is going to be a big run for a first down. And it is third down and seven. Evan Simon looking to make some plays, gets it to the tight end. Not quite enough to pick up the first down. You know me, crazy first year coach. We are going for it on fourth down. And that is just going to be enough to pick up that first down. And with six seconds, Washington up the middle, picks up the first down. And that is going to signal the end of the first quarter. Temple is leading by a score of 21 to nothing. 139 pass yards, 31 rush yards, four third down conversions, four... Uh, a little bit over four minutes of possession time, and we're going to get the start of the second quarter underway. We hand the ball off to Washington, only picks up a yard, and it is third down and four. Evan Simon changing the, the play at the line of scrimmage, hands the ball off to Smith. Smith tried to power forward, could not convert. Again, in the red zone, We are. I want to score another touchdown, but Smith could not pick up the big fourth down conversion. First down and 10 for Eastern Carol East Carolina. Hands the ball off to number 47. Number 47 gets six yards on the first down. It is third down and five. Third down and five, the quarterback in a shotgun and that is going to be a first down completion for East Carolina. And they're running on a no huddle offense. The quarterback in a shotgun sends the tight end in motion, gets it to the tight end. Tight end gets the first down and it is third down and one third down and one big money play. We, they need it. Oh, did not expect that. That is going to be a big first down for this East Carolina offense. And the quarterback in shotgun, 336 left to go in the half. Drops back, but he gets sacked for his troubles. Fourth and 19 field goal attempt, and the kick is good from distance. Evan Simon got the offense back on a third down and one, and... Ty Washington just enough to pick up the first down it is fourth down and four insane we said screw it and that is gonna be a pass broken up and with a minute left to go in the half 21 to 3 is your score the quarterback drops back in a shotgun formation and that is going to be a big time completion. Third down and goal. Quarterback. And that is a touchdown. We gave up the touchdown right there. I cannot believe it. And it is 21 to 10 after the extra point. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get... Oh, the pass is broken up as time expires with a big 11-point lead going into the second half. Temple has been unstoppable this year. Now, if we actually play some real competition, we, we might get smoked like we did against Oklahoma. Andreas Keaton is your player of the half with that interception return for a touchdown. We're going to kick off the second half with Evan Simon and the boys. And Smith gets stuffed in the backfield. And it is a fourth down and 18 punt. But the punter gets hit. That is a flag. 
doesn't matter what the return man's going to do here. And it is coming back to us, boys. I can't complain. Roughing the kicker. Not a good look. Third down and six. What do we do? Got it to John Adams, and that is a big first down for this Temple offense. Third down and 10, Evan Simon dropping back. I know he is not the starter right now, and the pass is broken up and batted away. They're going to get the ball back. It is third and six here. Uh-oh. Got it to him. Got it to the running back on the screen, and that is not going to be enough for a first down. We are running a straight verts. Can we get a touchdown here? Yes, we can. Zay Baines with the big touchdown grab. And that is going to make it 27 to 10. Extra point is good here. And make it 28 to 10. We're going to get the ball back. 140 in left in the third quarter. And a big reception by Cruz to pick up the first down. Evan Simon has been on a tear these past few weeks. And a touchdown, John Adams. This is getting out of hand, folks. What a big time score by the wide receiver to put us up by 25 with that extra point. And that is the end of the third quarter. And we are looking at an absolute routing. Looking at the top 25 real quick. We might have a shot. And here we go. It is the final quarter of play. We hand it off to Smith. Smith going to break outside. And it is going to be within. It is in the goal line. What a big time run by Smith. Fourth down and goal. We need the touchdown here. Honestly, just being a little crazy and could not get it there. When you're up by 25, you like to try different things. I like to try different things. Sometimes it works. The quarterback holding on to the ball for a way long time. And Keaton with the INT. And he is going to bring it up to about the 40-yard line. Third and seven, Evan Simon. Zay Baines cannot get it. And that is a big, costly drop. Looks like East Carolina is getting the ball back. And honestly, not even mad. Not even mad. And they are in the goal line with a third down and goal. Sacked. And the Temple defense picks it back up. And the offensive lineman just gave up. Number 88 has got a clear path, but cannot get. He gets tracked down by the running back. What a big time forced fumble. And Evan Simon hits Smith on the fourth down conversion, and that is going to make it first and goal. Ty, uh, Ty, Tyree Washington in and scores the touchdown. This is his second of the game, and the kick is up. That is going to make it a 32-point lead. We're just going to let the clock expire and we're going to hand it off to Washington to end the game. And that is a, another victory in the books for the Temple Owls. Really, really proud of how these guys played today. Really proud of what they did today. Evan Simon, 57% completion, 263 yards and four touchdowns with no interceptions. Can't can't be too mad. Look at some highlights here. That was a big touchdown grab by Dante Wright. A big return to kick this thing off for Keaton. I I, I can't be mad. I cannot be mad. Obviously, a win is a win is a win is a win. I would have loved to shut them out. But 21 points in the first quarter was absolutely astounding. This Temple offense has come to play. They most, they, I feel like they are going to win the All American Cop Conference. Wow. Garcia did not play good, but Evan Simon, on the other hand, I feel like he should be getting a rating bump at this point, but whatever. Two, 
not really good day by Raji Harris. Jake Garcia, though, the better rated quarterback, just got crapped on. Cannot believe it. That is going to bring us up to another level. The coach leveled up. Coach me leveled up, and that is what we needed. I can't believe how good this team has played throughout the year. Honestly, I did not expect to start going seven and one. Start the year seven and one, forty-two to ten, victorious. Temple is on a roll as of late. We are going to actually advance the week dynasty. We might be talking about about a real Temple dynasty here today. Can't. I, I'm not going to try and jinx it, but I think we could. 79 overall team at one and a half star school, seven and one. Who would have thought? And I am playing on um, what's the what's the uh, what's the one below um, Heisman? Is it uh, varsity? I don't know, but it's what we're playing on. Cameron Stewart, the national def defensive player of the week for his week nine performance against um which I'm call it uh against the da -da 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 against uh East Carolina sorry had a little bit of a brain fart there we are on by the college football playoff standings we are not ranked in the top 25 yet and this is the first college football ranking of the year we did not make the top 25 in the media poll that's fine and let's check the coaches poll Nope, not yet. We gotta be knock, knock, knocking on the door, though. Temple got a single vote, which is cool. Happy about that. Not mad. Ohio State leading the charge, though. The Liberty Flames. That's that's a good place for them. Yeah, you know, they they've had some really good. Um, they've had a good cut past couple of seasons. We're gonna take a look at these award watch lists. None of our guys are, are ranked here. No quarter um, player of the year, head coach of the year. We are ranked fourth. Hell yeah. That is what we needed is to be ranked. Best quarterback. No love for Evan Simon. Wow. That's that's crazy. We didn't have anybody for running back either, but Andreas Keaton is ranked. Best running back. Nope. Best receiver. I feel like any one of the three wide receivers could be ranked, but nope. Not showing any love. Lombardi Award. None none for that. Johnny Unitas Golden Arm for the senior QB. We are not a senior, so won't be ranked for that. The Bro Broyles Award. Shout out to my co-worker, Broyles. Have an award named after him. Uh, bowl projections. Let's take a, a, a Frisco Bowl is where we're projected right now. That'd be cool. Honestly, I just want to be bowl eligible. I want to be in a bowl game. I would be happy with that on the first year, but what the heck do I know? Should I raise the difficulty? That is the real question. Guys, sound off in the comments. I, I don't remember what it is, uh, what's below Heisman. This is what I always set, set it at. But sound off in the comments if you want me to raise the difficulty. Um, again, this is my first experience playing any college game in about 10 years. Uh, competitively like this. I, I When I was doing another channel on YouTube, I, I tried to do a uh, NCAA 13 dynasty with Michigan. who would I, I would probably rank Michigan as my favorite team. I know that sounds weird, not living anywhere near Michigan, but one of my favorite college football players of all time is Charles Woodson. Well, football players of all time is Charles Woodson. Um, I, me being a huge Washington fan, it is, it is the boy Sean Taylor. One of my, he's my favorite player of all time. But we got Luis. And I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because I'll butcher it. Uh, but we signed a wide. We we got a wide receiver to commit. 
I feel like we're going to really need some help in the wide receiver room come um, after the first season, but um, we also probably need some help with quarterback because Evan Simon's a junior. I believe his backup is a junior also, but the next matchup is going to be against the two lane uh, two lane. Uh, are they the green machine or some shit like that? I, I can't remember. You will. You're going to see a little bit of work with the on here. So we've got 260 hours to try and, um, I'm trying to get this quarterback because I would love to have him. He's a big, tall quarterback, standing 6'4", 214. We can get, we can work some things around him, but that's just me. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the CFB top 25. Ohio State still won. Kansas is two. We did not get any vote. Well, I think we're going to hop back to that conference standings real quick. Uh NC State leading the way. Temple ranked 24th. Holy crap, guys. That is something really cool. Something I never thought would happen. Bowl projections. Quick look. at. We're still scheduled to take on Texas State in the Frisco Bowl. Not sure how I feel about that, though. Um, take a quick look at these top 25. See if we got anybody else that really is kind of an oddball. Rutgers ranked 25th. Holy crap. That's that's amazing. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun, that episode. We're finally ranked in the top 25 for the college playoffs. I'm super cool with that. I, I can't wait. And guys, I do need your help. I do need y'all to sound off in the comments if you think I should raise the difficulty to Heisman. Make sure you get your voice heard and sound off on that. Guys, if you want to check out some other content that I am running on this channel, make sure to hit the four corner and check one of the four playlists that are listed in the, or up in the four corners right beside me. Guys, it's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have a great day, a great evening whenever you are watching this. Much love and peace out, my friends.